Alrighty. And we're right off the bat in a Compton lobby, hopefully. Nice, nice. Hmm. Interesting. There's a carbon. Hey, that's a V carbon. Guarding the fucking beacon, bro. Aww. Okay. This game is not going well, bro. Oh, it popped a bubble. It's okay, our T-Tech's popping. Surely. Surely. We get the thought. Okay. Well, that wasn't a great start, but you know. It's not unwinnable. We're just gonna let the knot drop, okay? Come on, let's go. Yes, there we go. I don't know why our splash is the right time, but I guess I'll... Okay, sure. Dude, what the fuck are we doing, bro? Why is our splash riding tower? Our ninja squid splash is riding tower. Wait, was the support splash? Okay, maybe. Yeah, bubbles are just not a balanced fucking special. Wow, that actually did fucking hit him. And our splash is in bed. Okay. the last player, okay. We kill him? He's like no pain. Okay. I know the carbon's here somewhere. Oh, come on. Dude, he's so weak, thank you. I threw it too early. No. What? What? No, he ballered. But what happened to the other guy? Oh, my God, dead. I know the carbon's here somewhere and the knot's fading. Yeah, 
I knew you were hiding. the game uh I don't know man that game just kind of felt like we were in constant disadvantage even when we were in advantage so I don't know what happened Yeah, this, it's so fun. Recently gotten to rank and you're plus zero? Hey, that's a pretty good start. Nice. my team was completely fine. There was, like, no issue with that comp. Like, if you wanted to be extremely picky, maybe, but, like, for so lucky, that was a perfectly viable comp. The coordination was just shit. Like, the ball point wasn't on tower. I tried to get on tower, and then our splash wouldn't get off tower. I don't know why. I don't know why one of our two front lines, especially one running a build to kill things, was on the tower, but, you know... how it was. I just fucked, but you know, that guy will die, so. It would have been helpful. I'm glad. Someone get on, please. I want to kill this guy. Thank you. map where Dynamo actually likes to push up ahead of the objective at times. Okay. I'm just gonna pay for that guy. There we go. It's only the 96? Where the fuck is he? Let's kill this guy. Just shark? No, shark in, shark in. I will paint, you swim. Nice. Close enough, you know? Yo, and he's burst bombing the guy. Hit the flick. Let's go. We have a good player. Goodbye. I'm gonna die, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean we're not winning? <laughs> Dude, Dynamo rolling OP. Help. Nice hitbox. I don't understand how I ran over two people and we did not proceed to knock out the game. Truly don't know what happened, because someone else was- I, I don't even know. But, you know. It's back up, you can go. Here. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I was trying to take care of the leader, but then there's a splash! That's okay. If that splash had object shredder, I died. Thankfully, people are still doing MPU ninjas with instead of running support builds. You look at me being a good teammate comboing with this bucket and not killing because Dynamo is, uh... <laughs> this poor healer dude, he's not getting to play the video game. I mean, neither am I, but... Best tip to get from S to X? Uh, I would check my YouTube, so exclamation point YouTube in the chat. I did a whole video on positioning, which is basically where you stand, and that is the most important thing. It is standing in the right place and not dying. That'll even apply to climbing in X, or like climbing in general and ranked. 
but this game is just being in the right position and not fucking dying. Like that. Don't do don't miss it. Don't hit Gria late and die like that. Yeah, Inkjet takes a while to get used to, but you kind of just gotta force yourself to learn it. That's what I did when I played Octobrush my back got better. Not good, but it got better. It became usable. I still played the hammer one when we were stop being players outside of one game in which my pack did nothing. I want the e litter dead. No, I didn't even get him. Now we will end the game. Thank you. What about tips for a newly formed team trying to be a better? Uh, focus on communication that actually forces you to coordinate with each other. Not just people saying things to each other, but like you actually do things you say you do. Like even top level players will struggle with this. Like I had to yell at my own pickup today, or not yell, but I had to be like, hey guys, we're all saying things and none of us are giving a shit about them. Let's start giving a shit about them. And then all of a sudden we went from losing every game to winning every game in the scrim. Like it matters so fucking much, I promise. Like, literally, I think we... Let's see. We lost the first game, second game. Third game, fourth game, fifth game. Then I yelled at them. And then we won one, two, three, four, five... Five games in a row. And then the scrim ended. That is the difference between coordination with good players and no coordination with good players. Nice match. Yes, GG. We did, in fact, get the W. Elite Umi. Those two things do not go together. Man, there's a lot of blasters in this lobby. Bro. What the fuck are you doing? Hello? Turn to the last second. Was he trying to trick shot? Now the Elite, dude. People need to get off Twitter.com when they're dead, or just like, I, I don't, I don't know, bro. But like, people, seriously. This game is so fast paced. You do not need to check your phone in the middle of the match. Just play a video game. It's five minutes long. Maximum, or not maximum. It's over time. Why? Why is he walking? Okay. And I died in Booyah. Okay, well, that's reasonable. You like the Dooley class? Yes, but I, it's not really my thing to play, except for CDS. I can play CDS well, but I cannot tolerate that RNG. Yes, I know this is coming from the Range Blaster player. I cannot tolerate Squelcher's RNG. I just wanted to check for it. Pressure my scene ability doubler. I think some people just like the Splatfest T, or some people just do not know how the ability system works. And I mean, I can't really blame them for the latter. I don't even know if I can blame them for the former. Former. Some people have some ugly ass gear. Dude, breaking that armor pushed him like nowhere. <laughs> he actually did not move. I opened the third game when I hit them with my massive, now even larger dynamo roller that they at least moved if it does not kill them. Maybe Nintendo knows something we don't. Uh, I pity on each Dooley though? Bro, you asked me to type up a video essay here. Uh, Dapple Dooley is a cool idea, but it's shit. Uh, the regular Dooley is probably perfect for how basic it is. You know, the entry-level weapon of the class, I think it's fine. Ever since they adjusted the ink efficiency nerfs, if MQ damage didn't exist, the weapon would need literal no changes. Uh, Dooley Sculpture is great. It's a more advanced version. You have to be aggressive because it has high points for special. The 191 could be 200, but I think outside of that, it's fine. Pretty well designed. Very cool for players who want to push a weapon to the skill ceiling. Ah, uh, what else is there? Uh, Glugadoolies is in the wrong fucking game. 
It was made for Splatoon 3, and unfortunately, it's not in that game. So, uh, that kind of sucks. It has one kit where if you don't want to play the main weapon and you still do things, you can play it, which is intense blue good. And it also has the good kit. Why do you keep standing? I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I get walking around, but don't stand completely. What do you mean by the Glugadooly statement? It's too fucking slow. You need, like... I'll explain it. I'll explain it after this game. Okay, it's complicated. Uh, and then Tetradoolies are probably one of, like, top five weapon concepts ever for Splatoon. Great fucking idea. Unfortunately, they do not have kits, and MQ damage them exists. They deserve to be a higher top tier weapon. And they still kind of are decent but they are not as good as they probably deserve to be for how awesome they are. However, it looks like, like with all the dualies, they will probably be better in Splatoon 3, so, you know, we'll live. Just gotta wait for the third game, where you will have, hopefully, an actual kit, and not MQ damage up, maybe, and being able to do squid rolls. Dynamo Roller messes up fighting weapons. Somehow. Wow, I got booed for it. That was nice. That felt like that was more than some actual teams, dude. I charged that shit instantly. All right, let me pull it up. Do you have any resources for good, bad weapons in each map? Uh, there's no real general list for it because there is like 23 maps and like 44 unique weapons. How many combinations is that? 23 times 44. So that'd be 1,012 combinations to cover in total, not counting kits, so uh, that's why that does not exist. I don't know, I'm guessing he was just trying to walk around to like not, to like shoot faster, you know, not exit squid form, which sometimes you do that with range, like that's in some of my videos, but I think he tried to do it a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, where the fuck is Gluga? I don't remember if FLC has talked about this at some point before. He might have. GG's, dude. Uh, Ape, you're the range, right? Is there a reason you, like, walk around like that? I've never really seen it before. Like, I'm, I'm just kind of confused. I thought you were AFK for a second, so I got to make my standard AFK joke I've made ever since fucking A rank. Anyway, uh, Gluga. So here's the thing about Gluga, okay? Gluga is like... It's like your average weapon, except you get to have, like, this insane two-shot at a distance. Like, this is, this is an insane, insane strength. Like, that's crazy. Unfortunately, the weapon has to be, like, really standard and slow. You know, whenever you roll, you just kind of stand here like this. So, like, this kind of means if you're a glue and you want to peek out and be able to roll backward, you can only use one roll. So, you have to roll, and then you have one roll to go back. Like, you can roll turret and then roll backward. So, I think that's kind of shit. Because if you want to, like, roll and then actually get out and chase someone, like, roll, someone reacts to you, and then you roll to chase them, boom. Then you can kill them. Like that, basically. But if you do that, you're kind of stuck. So I think that's the problem. And that's why... And that's why the, the good Gluga kit... Get away, Matt. That's why the good Gluga kit has wall. Because you can do this. And now you're protected. You know? You can basically just mix in wall with your rolls. So in Splatoon 3... You can, like, squid roll around this corner, roll, and then you still have another roll to either really go in, like, squid roll and roll twice in to chase people, or you can roll and then back up again. So basically, being able to, like, jump out like this, but faster, 
is huge. That's great for it. So that's why it'll be better in three. I, I, FLC might have talked about it, but yeah. Yeah, I've seen so many people say that they're like, damn, the squid roll is uh underwhelming. You know? For Dooley's like, ah, uh, it doesn't seem to do a lot. Dude, Dooley's like benefited like arguably the most. Dooley's are gonna like having an extra roll on those weapons is awesome. Like, it's really, really good that it does that. Dooley's getting an extra roll. Like, that's huge for it. I'd benefit Stooley more, but... you have seen a few more blasters. Must be Charger Conra. Yeah. Dude, Tetra gets six. You can squid roll twice. I don't know if you have to do it backward or not, but, like, either way, Tetra's a fucking nightmare fuel in the next game. Which is good. Dooley's deserve to be good. Again, like... They have to deal with such bullshit in this game. Even if they're not, like, that bad. They have to deal with some stupid-ass shit in this game. They absolutely deserve to be good in the third one. And have, feel like, even better versions of what they already were. That's what it deserves. Now, if only the Splatoon 1 top tiers can get the same treatment. <laughs> Imagine Dooley's counseling. I'm gonna squid roll. I hope it happens, but I don't think it will. I mean, you should at least be able to squid roll down from a squid surge. That part I don't see you not being able to do, which means the squid roll one should be that likely. Like it's definitely it definitely has to be something they've at least considered at some point. Oh, we got the fall off flick. Oh, I remember what the range last game reminded me of. Uh, there was this very old blaster guide. I think it was for range, but it might have been for normal because range wasn't out at the start of Splatoon 2. It was, like, by this non-comp player, and he used run speed range, and he would, like, be in a fight, and he would just strafe around and then shoot someone. That's what I was confused by because I thought, like, was it that type of trick? But I haven't seen that since 2017. Like, it was not a... Honestly, like, I know it's runner speed range, it sounds shit, but it honestly isn't that bad. The pellet startup? I don't think the pellet thing is that big a deal, like... I know Dooley players complain about it, but I think their hitbox being bigger was kind of dumb. I don't think it should have had the bigger hitbox in the first place. I think that was a very stupid nerf, and I'm glad they went back on it. I think, like, I don't think it needed the bigger pellet size on its hitbox. So, I'm glad. I, I will say I'm glad they went back. It, it just felt like a very unnecessary buff. Wow, that didn't kill. Wow, my weapon's so good.
smart. I really thought he was gonna drop. I shouldn't have died the first guy. Is it all just like substrafing? I don't think it's gonna replace substrafing. I mean, it might uh, be stupid, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna be it. I think it's gonna be just a, its own thing. I know there's a clash here. Well, I was trying to bait him, but I instead I found the dually. I didn't want to trade with him. Ah, uh, this is not the time to go AFK, my guy. This is not the time to go AFK. The game is not over. Okay. <laughs> ah, little, little, little. <laughs> ah. Hey, let's not scare Chara today, please. It's not going as bad as yesterday, so that's good. your opinion on them parries uh i i don't see a reason to use them that's kind of the problem with most of the dualies i think because there isn't really a good reason to use them over other options for the most part so it's like i don't think they're bad What are your thoughts on L3? Uh, the VL3 got screwed because it's a 220 shit special. Uh, the L3D is good. It's not really the best meta for it, but it's like if you want an inkjet, that's probably the weapon you're gonna play. And the KL3 would be really cool if it was good. Hammer on an L3. Like, look at the range. They really do walk a lot. It's very interesting. Oh, he has run speed this time. Okay. Maybe he just had the wrong set last game. That makes it make a little bit more sense. Get the wrong set. Yeah, that's what I haven't seen done well since 2017. Not gonna one hit. Um, but the main weapon of L3 is pretty good. I think it's a bit carried by damage up, though. I would like them to see them, like, get rid of... Maybe buff the damage a little bit to, like, 30. 30 or 31 like a jet. And reduce or entirely get rid of the RNG in exchange for getting rid of the damage up. And I think it would be in a pretty good spot. Oh, it's out of range. I fucking missed. Good job. I would have killed two. 
I mean, at least we got the checkpoint, but that could have gone further if I did not throw the game. I'm dead. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the other two squeezer weapons are clearly non RNG, so it's very odd that it has it. I mean, it's the one that I guess it technically needs it the least, but. Actually, even Squeezer would be okay without it, but Squeezer would just feel shit without it. Or are we gonna kill their whole team? Come here! No, we're gonna choke it. Well, we're not gonna choke it, but yeah, it's not as cool. Hey, at least we got it, though, you know? At least we got it. Oh, that was a nice fall. First stream, how am I doing good? I don't know if this jump is actually safe. This might be risky. Oh, yeah. That was a bad jump. Yeah. It still wouldn't be, like, a great quad, because, like, two of them were not looking at me, I think. So. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't have been bad. Well, that roller was smart to duck out of there. Look at that. We're not touching the uninkable. So we didn't get one tap by the bamboo. Got it. Gotta use that stage mechanic. Have you ever had a missile quad? I've had missile 3Ks, but no quads. Like, from only missile alone. At least if I have, I don't remember it. But I remember a few 3Ks, vaguely. Mostly because they were recorded. Oh, this would be a shit. Like. Yeah, I was trying to lob it. Nah, whatever. <laughs> I wanted to get another. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? <laughs> I keep getting run over kills, bro. I think the Bia camouflage that shit. Can you comment on YouTube? Love this stuff. Nice. What's well, my builds? There you go. The MP one is up outdated, but I do use the other two, though. I mainly use the quick respawn one. I might even play it a little bit tonight. We'll see. I am feeling like a dynamo day today, though. My range wasn't doing as good, and my dynamo's been getting a little bit better, so. I've been doing more dynamo. Rolled off, dude. I have to play this very cautiously. They're gone. I just want check. Yeah, the rotation's good. Mahi and Flounder. I would love it, dude. I'm open. It'd be the perfect duo of maps, but... 
I thought the Ray was due on the stack for a second there. I don't know why. Struggling to get our foot off the ground this game. I mean, I guess we did get to 31, but we're playing it really campy. It's not like we pushed it past third check on this time, so I don't know why we're so fast. He barely shot before he died. Yeah, you just jump while you're swinging and hold backward. So you don't go as far. That was a horrible fucking idea, I'm gonna be honest. Hammer, it does 100 a direct hit, 40 in an indirect, and a medium direct is 60. But you swing a ton, so it's even with only 100 damage, it still is like one of the highest DPS in the game. Just because of how fucking fast you actually swing that thing. We're gonna pack over the wall, we need to not feed it, and we'll be okay. Alright, well, we fed it, so. Now gonna be a difficult defense, maybe. Oh, uh, we got the rapid though, the charger should die, so I think it'll be okay. Let's take a point, super aggressive here, so I think we're okay. Oops, oh, people died. Sorry, I just went for the angle. That game is kind of boring. Usually double, triple backline lobbies are, so... Eh. About what I expected.
Uh, 500? I don't know. Maybe. This is plus zero. And we got the T-Tech on our team. T-Tech installed last game, so I think we're looking good. Help! That hit and did not kill. Okay. We're fine, but like, what the? Hello? Uh. Oh. oh, it's a Luna. Try pay attention. Another double backline lobby snooze. It's probably the fault point. That part's cool. I threw it too late. Such a small window for that optimal time. I not hate that it exists as much. My hitbox? Just didn't work, dude. I was supposed to kill, but uh, nope. Alright. A little greedy, but eh, it's worth it. I don't think a bear here is kind of nasty. Dude, why are you? Okay. How it, did I send you a design I made for Geeks for Bow? On Twitter, at Prochara. You can DM me on it, or just tag me. I don't always see tags, but sometimes I do. Fucking tower, dude. The tower just buffed that special. No, we have to play this match longer. No. Watch this. I didn't work. I popped him, but the ball pump. My cool dad. Oh, I fell. Yeah, Kimmy's fine. I'm doing good. Just kind of chilling tonight. What's up, Mixter? Uh... 
you kidding me? I can't roll over the shield in one hit? Garbage weapon. Unplayable. I can't run over a Thunder Shield. Dude, I died 13 times that game. I just did not care. We were not, we were never losing that video game. I'm gonna be honest. That match could have lasted like 30 minutes. We would still have not lost. That game was uh, very boring. I felt bad because that was just a blatantly unbalanced Soluki game and there is uh, nothing that can be done about it. The teams were just not fair. GG. <laughs> Dude, I just missed. It's okay, though. I could've killed three people there. Why do people make, make names with their age? I hope it's not someone who's actually 13 and they're joking. But yeah, if you are a minor, or even a general, dude, just don't, don't mention your age. Are you, are you kidding me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Weapon? Excuse me? Now we gotta watch that one back. We are gonna watch that one back. Charge first before I move you, please. Alright, now move. And go charge again. <laughs> oh, poor Hydra in this game, dude. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, we, we are gonna need to see that fucking kill back, because I am fairly certain that was just a fucking dynamo not functioning moment and not my aim. Could be wrong, but I'm like fairly certain I'm not. What? He's whistling right there. Okay. Be a fat finger to. I don't know. Right, I'm just gonna bait for this guy. Oh yeah, he knows. Except we have armor, so never mind. We're not doing that. I think it'll work anyway, though. 
Yeah, I'll watch. Bob. <laughs> Spawn challenge, impossible to What are you doing here? Go! Okay, he's just gone by. I like this rail. Damn, that guy just died and spawned. I'm lucky. Oh, I'm dead. I don't think it matters. No, I wanted to watch the clip. Now, imagine if we lose this game. Dude, my team is like fucking so happy right now. They're all like, woo, woo, yeah, this way, woo me. All right, well, T Dev just did not take damage from that flick. Not, not the last one, the one before it, because that was like a perfect angle. But all right. Okay. Yeah, so let's not panic. Let's not panic. Please. Oh, it's okay. I was gonna go get a Booyah, but then they just killed everybody. Alright, uh... After the KD screen, let's take a little bit of a look at what the fuck just happened. to do, but whatever. Alright, let's take a look. Alright. So he, he strafes right. It is... It's not dead center, but I mean, I'm like two inches from his face, so I don't think it should matter that much. You know? You know, let, let's test in the training room. I know it's not fully accurate. Okay, well, let's see. So we were like, yay close. Maybe a bit further back? I don't know, man! Yeah, I'd have to be that far.
the lobby. Yeah, I'm getting the thumbnail for tomorrow. That's what I'm typing with. Oh, wow. I barely missed. My bad. I thought I could at least get a burst bomb off, but he was fast at reacting that. Oh, we got a Tenacity Charger BJ, dude. He's purely going for missile count. Oh, the wall, dude. Dude. Not the Neo Sploosh. The Japan equivalent of the Neo Sploosh. Slightly better, but still bad. Dude, we're getting unlucky with the start. Is he? He's okay. I mean, at least he's gonna not paint the worst things in existence, but. Okay, no, he's gonna go. Okay, he's gonna move it. And he's now this way. Yeah, we could have used your help on the right side of the map during their push. That's an apply. Bye. You like paint ahead of us, please? God damn it. Wait, he. Oh, I collided. Dude! Oh, not us, dude. Paint actively. Stop painting spawn! My god. Imagine we 3v4 in a 2450 lobby. Or three and a half. I don't know. The missiles aren't the worth most worthless thing, but. Oh, I burst bomb directed him, but he just wasn't. Dude, can you move, please? Please play the actual video game. Please. Ramping up, I'm gonna have to stop so dude. Dude, can you help out? Oh my god. I'm gonna lose it, dude. Why? Why are there players like how do you enjoy yourself? Expect that. I guess he has a QR later. Can we shoot him, please? Thank you. Alright. Dude, look at their jet being active. What a concept. What an idea. Look how he went in and burst bombed and painted for his team. Would be cool if we had that weapon. It's a shame we just don't. Shame. We don't have a weapon painting like that. I don't, I don't understand. They're gonna have like a zero kills, 15 missiles. Oh. Oh, our ballpoint DC, but it's too late, so it's still gonna count as a loss. But you know, now it's at least more guaranteed than it already was. Hey, you'll get more tenacity though for that missile count. Let's go to overtime, it still doesn't count. I mean, now, now it's just a 2v4. He 
still just painting. And he's dead! Yeah, I think the ballpoint might have genuinely just quit off it. Alright, how many missiles did you get? Because that's the only thing you cared about. Well, I was right about the KD. Sort of. Actually, our ballpoint kind of, uh... <laughs> Oh, it counted. Okay, thank fuck, dude. I don't want to deal with this shit. Our ballpoint got zero kills and our jet got two. So, I don't know. Our ballpoint was kind of struggling. No, the weapons aren't bad. He's just playing it wrong. Their siege did great. He race spammed while painting actively for his team and throwing burst bomb. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other jet actually gave a shit about his team. That was the difference. That was supposed to be the last game because my wrist is hurting, but like, I I'm not ending on that shit. Oh, he got armor. Wow. If I killed that other guy, that would have been just a massive skill issue. It's painting spam, but painting areas that do not fucking matter. Just to pat out a missile count. Missiles that you do nothing with. Dude, my burst... What happened to my burst bomb on the armor, bro, huh? What happened to the burst bomb on the armor? Where'd it go? I already know that's going on me. Yep. This happens every time. I am the ray target, I know. No more ray. He didn't die. Maybe I did it the only I did not sign up to play the bullet hell. I wanted to play an interactive game. But unfortunately, I'm on Splatoon 2 instead.
indirect really this time. Damn. That was surprising. get it. We can still get it. I still stalled him long enough for lead. Honestly, kind of better I didn't use missile there. I have QR jump, but I'm gonna get missile, so I don't want to die. Nah. I'm just getting endgame special. They forgot the tower. Okay. That was a pretty good 4k. I think we'll end it there. Hey, top 500. Woo!